Sox have won the World Series. It is hands down a true statement to say that I've done more commissioned paintings for athletes than any artist in history. From his home in Keller, Vernon Wells brings life to his canvas by painting the biggest names in sports. It is back, it is up, it is 600 for Sosa. Give him a photograph and he'll produce a very detailed painting in a few weeks. No, I didn't study art at all and it was just a hobby and everything I know about the technique that I use is something that I learned on my own. Photorealistic is, I guess, the, the, the term because everything I do is done based on a photograph. Wells is the artist to Major League Baseball players. In a sport where the average salary is $2.8 million, his clients have no problem paying $6,000 or more for their own likeness on canvas. Ken Griffey Jr., Alex Rodriguez, and Frank Thomas have all commissioned paintings. Wells is simply the player's choice. He's really got it down. Um, the, there's no better sports artist out there in the world, I don't think, uh, because I've, I've seen a lot of photos and paintings, and his is up there with the greatest. Now batting the center fielder, Vernon Wells. Yeah! Get over him. Get over him. Yeah! Wells' son, Vernon III, is an all-star center fielder for the Toronto Blue Jays. His son helps bring business to him. It's common for opposing players during games to ask Wells for his father's number. Had a way to show up at the party. He's got a unique ability to make it almost seem lifelike. It's almost too lifelike in some cases. But now that I use a lot of airbrush, it smoothed it out so much to where so many people will look at my brochures and think that they're just photographs put together. And I have to even say in the brochure that, you know, these are not photographs. You need to see an original to understand that it, it really is a painting. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. You guys include sliders and change-ups all night long. That's, and what, that's what he got switch. burning on. You'll see Wells mingling with big league players at Rangers Ballpark in Arlington before games. He's not just an artist to them. He's an insider. When guys come into the ballpark here, they see my display and stuff down there. And even though they already know about my work, when they see it again, in inevitably somebody says, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do one now. Baseball players have egos. Each player wants a unique portrait. Wells does his best to meet their requests. As a father of a major leaguer, he finds himself giving his younger clients advice about the do's and don'ts of who should be in the painting. In the old days, guys will say, I want to have my girlfriend, or they just got married. I try to discourage it because I can't tell you how many paintings I've done, and they're no, no longer together and the painting becomes part of the settlement, who gets what? That's high praise for his work. Wells says he's been commissioned to do over 1,000 paintings, and he's always worried about the finished product. There's pressure every time. I mean, I don't want to miss, because because of my particular technique, if I mess up certain things, then I have to start all over. It's not a situation where I can just paint over my mistakes sometimes. To use a baseball term, Wells rarely makes errors. From Keller, I'm Louis Scruggs. In some ways, you point out to why you're not playing well, and, and was it the coach? Was it with all the different things that can go along with that? And I just think that the team has to take accountability for it and really address it. And, and we obviously had a good year, but you got to be playing your best football going into the playoffs. And I, I still don't think that's an excuse for why we lost that last night. And I think that that was a separate game. And the reason for the reason we lost was not because of we played bad in December. Jerry Jones was distraught after the loss mm -hmm. last night with the way things ended. Mm -hmm. Is there any?